Over the weekend, uh, another fight that took place was uh, Kron Gracie making his UFC debut. And as soon as he won, there seemed to be some blowback coming Kron's way. Oh, he's not that good. Oh, he hasn't showed enough. Oh, he... oh hold on. Let, let's hit the brakes just a second here, okay? Excuse me. I don't know that anybody is saying that he's so good or he's the new number one contender or he's the new power of the division. I don't know that anybody's saying that. He came out with a tremendous amount of pressure on him. That is true. That is Hicks and Gracie's son. That is a family lineage who started the company. Literal. That's literal as in they used to own it. Just for anybody that's, that's a newer fan. The UFC and the entire theme and the idea of having mixed martial arts and putting different martial arts and and whatnot against each other and setting up a cage and bringing cameras in and selling tickets to the events, that was started by a Gracie, by Horion Gracie. So, yes, he had a tremendous amount of pressure. And the Gracies, and with their martial art of jiu-jitsu, did not love the round system. In fact, they specifically did not like that there was rounds. And many of you will think, well, that's a little anti-competitive. Well, no, there, there was another side of it, too, which is they also didn't care about weight classes, and they didn't care about gloves, and they didn't care about rules. They just wanted to put their skill to the test. In came the skills and the rising up and the sport of mixed martial arts, not the legal term that was put in place to get a bill passed to the Nevada State Athletic uh, Legislature in 2001. I'm talking about the actual sport of mixed martial arts. As that grew, you had weight classes, and you needed more regulation, and you needed a whole lot more for safety, and part of that was a round system, but that also largely exited the Gracie. That was just not what they came here to do. That was not what they had in mind, and it took a tremendous amount of time for them, themselves, the founders, to go back into the gym and learn to adapt to the new way that this sport is being presented. I only offer you that history because he had tremendous pressure put on him. And the Gracies had not won a match, went from being the champ, the owners of the company, the champions, to exiting it completely. And when they did make a foray back in, not getting their hand raised in a meaningful amount of time. Somebody told me how long it was. I can't even remember. It was something crazy, though. Something crazy. I forgot that Hodger had not won. By example, I mean, it, it was like, 20 years since the Gracie had won in the UFC. I tell you that because, yes, he did come in with tremendous pressure, not just from the outside, not just the pressure that the other competitors have to feel, but an actual family lineage. And he performed perfectly, and he won. And for that to be something that they, as a family, and if you want to extend that to a community of the jiu-jitsu community is something that they want to be proud of, they have every right. Every right. If you would like to come in as a modern-day mixed martial arts fan and say, I wasn't as blown away by those skills at most, you have every right. Nobody's wrong here because guess what we're going to do? We're going to fight about it. That's what we are going to do. And I think that for Kron, moving forward, I think that, yes, he will certainly have harder opponents, I believe. But I also do think that that's going to be his opportunity where he can show his other skills. There seems to be a narrative created, and I watched this even plague the great George St. Pierre for 10 years of his career. When if you go out and you do something, and and fighting is still largely broken down into two categories, which is stand-up and grappling. If you go out there and you grapple successfully, there becomes a false narrative or at least a built-in phenomenon that you can't strike. And that was the belief of which I will fully admit I was also guilty of thinking with George St. Pierre, well, he can't strike. The other side of it, if you were George, you're going, no, it's not that I can't. It's that I've never needed to and I prefer to do this. So then when he ends up there with somebody known as Matt Hughes, who he had a very hard time doing the old George St. Pierre double leg, pass your guard and beat you up routine, just knocked him out with a head kick. And it made the rest of us go, oh, oh, he does have a little bit of more. He just never needed to show it. So before you pile on Crone, and you may turn out to be right. 
Maybe Crow doesn't have the hands and the kicks. That's not what that fight was about. And if Crow wants to have, and if his family, and if that entire community wants to have a glorious moment, they earned it. 